we will start in another five minutes we are waiting for others good morning Karan uh, good morning Gautam Good, good morning, Gautam. Gautam Patel, good morning. Torin Bhai and uh, Gautam, we will start in another five minutes. We are waiting for others to join. We shall use a uh, Google Meet uh, from now on to avoid the problems related to Zoom. In another four minutes. Kenzel, I, I hope your network uh, is good because you left in between and you are back. I can see your chats because I'm, I'm also logged in uh, from another device. So do not hesitate to ask anything or re leave your replies responses we shall start in another three minutes precisely kush good morning Kush Ladani. Yeah, I can see Kush. Okay. So I can see Dhruv, Gautam, Karanbhai, Kartik, Kenzel, and Kush. Kush, good morning. Karan, good morning. My voice is low. You may need, I think, your uh, uh, earphones because uh, the setting from my uh, system is perfect here. I will try to be louder, as loud as I can. Kush, don't worry. Uh, once the session starts, uh, I will be add loud as loud as I can. So no need to worry about that. Uh, it's already nine, and uh, we are as of now. Uh, Dhru is with us. Gautam, Karanbai, Kartik, Kenzel, and Kush. We are six, I think. Bhavesh, good morning, Bhavesh. Uh, Janil, good morning. Good morning, sir. Okay, you may just uh, keep your mic in the mute mode. You may put down the messages in the chat box. You can see the chat box. It's visible from another 
device. I've logged in from another device, so no need to worry about it. We hardly had interaction of uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, in our last session. So we are going to have a fresh start today. Sure, I'm going to uh, skip a few things. And uh, we will start from where we, uh, we have stopped last session. But a few activities just to have a re refresh of uh, uh, the last session and, and the way we are going to operate in future. So we are going to have a few activities along with uh, our discussion today. All right. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, good morning, all of you. An official good morning to everyone. Uh, now, definitely, uh, we, we did talk about uh, our subject, uh, business uh, benchmark. Uh, we also uh, talked about myself. So I'm going to skip uh, that. Uh, but I'm going to uh, stop here once again to just give you, uh, because because we, we had uh, many glitches in the last session. So just an overview for one more time, not uh, in a very short brief. Uh, it is an upper intermediate qualification, and this uh, this this course uh, actually looks at the level of English that is required for a business environment, and not just a business environment, but also a level of English required at workplace. So, here we will talk about English at that level, which is required at workplace, which an employee should have, and which an employer expects. So, one, you know, one one that is expected uh, by an employer. Uh, and that is uh, the level of uh, language we are expecting to cover uh, during our uh, course module of 14 hours in, in business, of business benchmark. Uh, I have also shared with you the course outcomes. Uh, some of the course outcomes uh, you can see right here on the, on the screen in front of you. Uh, definitely some of them are uh, some of them are uh, we have discussed already, uh, but uh, we are going to understand uh, the language that is required for the correspondence, uh, correspondence that's reports and proposals. Uh, we are going to have throughout the sessions uh, uh, interesting and uh, I can say stimulating listening and uh, reading activities, uh, which 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 are going to actually uh, work on your listening, reading, writing, and speaking skills that is required at, at workplace. Uh, we are also going to understand how we read different extracts of uh, different formal extracts. Let me tell you formal extracts. That means uh, maybe short notices or short messages or maybe an email or maybe a proposal or, or maybe reports. Uh, we are also going to understand uh, some reading techniques like skimming and scanning and what are the differences between both. Or saath saath hum ye bhi dekhenge ki aap log, you know, you, you prepare a presentation on familiar topic and come in front of the class and, and present it. Uh, working specifically on, on your, uh, on your uh, mistakes that you come up with during your presentation. So we are going to have uh, an elaborative feedback uh, once you, you present yourself, uh, either individually or in the teams. It doesn't matter much. So these are some course outcomes. After that, uh, we did discuss about uh, assessment. We are going to have 50 marks of uh, a VIVA and 50 marks weighted term work, uh, about which I shall discuss uh, later as we progress further in our course module. So we, we will have a broad discussion on, on this. Uh, we also discussed uh, some of the sample outcomes, I mean, some of the sample course content uh, last uh, session. But uh, because of uh, the glitch, we were not able to discuss it at, at one go. I'm not going to discuss in the same detail today. 
but yes if you can see uh, the three sample uh, course content right in front of you there is uh, there is one we call it uh, launching a product uh, in in there is the second one there is business meetings uh, the third one is making contact in every module at every module uh, you're first going to have a case study beforehand upload pehle case study padoge uske bare mein samjhoge then in pairs you will work with each other or you will work individually if we are online if we are live we are going to work in pairs with each other so once you analyze the case study, study in pairs you will then come face to face with the with with the uh, you know strategies for example if if you are if you are willing to launch a product then what are the strategies if you are you know willing to sit in a business meeting then what are the strategies that you should follow i mean strategies as in uh, how should you sit in the meet business meeting how should you greet people in the business meeting how should you uh, uh, start conversation in business meeting Uh, so there are many many different uh, parameters uh, we are going to discuss when we talk about business meetings but first and foremost is going to be language kyunki business benchmark pura language skills ke based hai language skills par hai skills which are language skills required for workplace to hum sab jagah pe hamara jo background rahega the the you know a back end is going to be our uh, language support that is required for formal english we will come across uh, some content like making contact where we are going to listen to uh, you know live a telephonic conversation of a hotel receptionist how they pick up the phone how they uh, uh, you know handle the customers uh, in other words how to handle the telephonic conversations at workplace so alag alag you know uh, course content hai hamare and we are going to uh, have an amazing experience during our session uh now yes we were somewhere around here and uh, we also did one uh, small exercise which we are going to do today and i'm going to ask the same question to all of you once again and i'm sharing a link with you and uh, the link should be here by now uh, in front in, in front of you in your chat boxes and the link has the same question the question is what does the word learning mean to you so it will take you to a different uh, tool let me let me take you to the same tool and uh, once it takes you to that tool you can enter your replies there you have you have access to three entries at maximum so you can enter three different words about about learning so what do you think the word learning means to you okay i can see some words here uh, uh, i think you should also see those words yes uh, it is visible uh, my screen is sharing mode experience understanding ha learning is happiness that's 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 a nice word right there learning also means skills good learning means analysis learning also means spirit learning is a challenge for some people learning is gaining a new skill for some people uh okay we are 30 so i'm expecting this cloud word cloud getting bigger and bigger okay yeah i it's it's not getting any bigger now yeah you you have 20 more seconds so that you can enter you can you know enter your entries okay learning is also behavior that's that's great learning is to know more learning is development that is that is also great uh learning is values that's that's nice good good words i can see some really amazing uh words uh, flying out here uh, that's amazing students that's that's really amazing learning is also to know more okay all right 10 more seconds and then i'm going to stop the word cloud
Yes, any more ideas about learning? Okay, I, I think, th okay, there's, there's one more, values. Okay, values we have already. Understanding the things, learning is challenge once again. Learning is not experience. Okay, some, someone, okay, someone from the group disagrees to that. So learning is not experience for, okay, that, that's, that's your view. All right, uh, fine, I shall now uh, take you back to the slide. And uh, there we are, okay. Uh, all right, so uh, these were your views. See, your views, I mean, uh, when I ask you such questions, please uh, don't, uh, don't, you know, analyze or don't uh, qualify yourselves into right and wrong. I'm not looking for right or wrong replies. I'm looking for valid uh, replies, for valid entries. And most of you, I mean, all of you were valid because, because this is your perspective about learning. Now, what we need here is we, we also need, you know, perspectives from experts. So we are going to invite a few experts uh, among us today, uh, once again, we have invited them last session, but uh, it was not, uh, you know, very well uh, executed. So maybe one more time, are you all ready to welcome the uh, experts uh, from different fields uh, that would explain us about learning? Are you ready? If yes, you should type yes in the chat box. Let me see how many of you are excited. Okay, Chenil, I can see two of you excited. Okay, Gautam, Nikko, and Joe, right? Okay, okay, I, I see you, most of you are. Okay, all right. So let's have those people right in front of us. And uh, there they are. So now, you know, about learning, uh, all these people have said about learning, and not just today or not just, uh, you know, before a few years, but some of them have said about learning many, many, many years ago. And uh, I think we have uh, already uh, welcomed two of them. And uh, let's welcome once again uh, two of these experts and let's see what they have to say about learning. Uh, this uh, gentleman here, a Greek uh, philosopher who lived on the uh, face of the planet for almost uh, 2,000 years ago, uh, Plato. And he said about learning, he said something about learning, and I, uh, if you remember, we, we had one word, you know, omitted from every statement of these experts, and I wanted you all to think about, about these words. So, never discourage anyone who continually makes progress, no matter how, uh, do you remember what he, what he said, no matter, yeah, Aryan was, Aryan is right because we have discussed this, uh, two of them, no matter how slow. And if you remember, I also had discussed and shared that most of the times, slowness is considered to be the negative attribute. Uh, uh, but that's not the case every time. Uh, some learners take time to learn. Some learners take time to understand. Some learners take time to, to actually apply or imply. And you should take that time. Uh, but that then that time should not be everlasting. Uh, there should be some learning at some point of time, even if you are slow. So you need to look at slowness from a different perspective, right? And in our course module, things are really going to happen slow and, and with steady progress, right? So we will never rush to things unless and until you, you don't uh, really understand uh, the concepts uh, properly. So that's what Plato uh, tried to say. Let's invite the next personality. And if you remember the word uh, that we are looking for, let's, let's see whether you remember. Uh, American lady, uh, she died almost uh, 10 years ago, just recently. And uh, an American, actually, physicist. She won Nobel Prize in 1977 in, in medicine. Rosalind Yellow is her name. And she said this. And let's see if you remember what is the missing word there. 
She said, the dash of learning separates youth from old age. As long as you're learning, you are not old. And if you don't remember, let's start guessing the word. So let's guess the word. Okay, so Gautam and Jen. Okay, all right. So both of you remember the word. That's, that's great. Excitement. Yes. So, see, excitement is, is the key feature, is the key element in, in learning. Uh, in most of my classes, I, I never force my students to, to really learn something. Uh, they are learning because they are excited. And it only works if you're really excited to learn something. One more word that I should add here, which I will actually type in the, in the chat box for you, because it's not here. And uh, I, I am typing it in, in the chat box. And it's there. Appreciation. You need to appreciate whatever you are learning. See, you need to appreciate, if you are learning language, you need to appreciate language. If you are learning, uh, uh, let's say, your technical subject, you need to also appreciate that. Because if you don't appreciate it, then you don't have excitement automatically. So that excitement is, is, is something that's, that's missing if there is no appreciation. So what I'm trying to say here, in other words, is appreciation is must or appreciation hona chahiye or agar appreciation hoga only then the excitement will you know turn up and once the excitement kicks in agar excitement hai to learning kisi ek degree pe hoga whether it's a lesser degree or a higher degree or a greater degree then only the learning happens so excitement is the key element all right, get ready to guess the next word. Uh, yeah, the excitement was the word. So let's get ready to uh, invite the next expert. Uh, this uh, gentleman is alive and he's uh, still uh, living in, in Qatar. He works with the uh, Ministry of Education in uh, Qatar. Uh, he has uh, done some amazing work uh, there. Uh, in terms of language learning or in hone language learning ke baare, learning ke baare mein kuch bataya hai. so let's see what he has shared if you remember the word teaching ourselves how to learn becomes more important than he teaching ourselves what to learn when the dash is lifelong learning so can you guess that dash very quickly some of you yeah i should give you some around 10 seconds and not more Okay, Nikunj says goal. Any other guess? Or that was something that we have, yeah, we have covered, but I think you remember. Yes, so goal is, is, is something that we need to keep in mind. We, we need to really stick to it. Because if, if the goal is not clear, if the vision is not clear, where it's, where it's you know, going to take you forward and, and further, then uh, things are a little bit blurred. So then, then, then there are hurdles in learning. Then there are obstacles in learning. So if you are willing to really learn, uh, uh, you know, something, you need to have, you know, uh, the goals uh, set. And that changes a lot. That changes so many things once you have, uh, you know, a set goal in learning. Uh, next personality. Uh, I don't think we have uh, covered him. So uh, this is some. Uh, he's going. To be a new gentleman for us. Uh, a famous uh, personality uh, from uh, back in 19, uh, uh, I think, uh, yeah, 1970s, 1960s, uh, from United States of America. He served as uh, a Secretary of Health and Education with uh, President. Yeah, yeah, yes, I'm as loud as I can be. Uh, he served as a uh, Secretary of Education and Health and Education with uh, uh, President uh, Lyndon at White House. And uh, uh, he said something, and his name is John Gardner. He said something about learning, and this is amazing. One reason, one of the reasons people stop learning is that they become less and less willing to risk what? They are not willing to risk something so 
can can you can you guess that word yes i'm waiting for your replies in the chat box what learners are not willing to risk at times time okay okay safe says time aryan says time general also says time what about others okay gautam patel says freedom willing to risk freedom yes of course you should have freedom in terms of your you know learning but what else what are you willing to risk what are you not willing to risk actually any other guess we are 32 and i only have four guesses so far 10 more seconds will all right willing to risk will that's what uh, my three is trying to put on okay let's see what what uh, john gardner actually uh, yes rushi says failure let's see what john gardner actually uh, said and uh, i think i think you guys got the word and he said failure see this is something that's 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 people are not that is you know what people are not willing to risk and this is because you can take some simple examples, some simple examples as in, uh, let's say, for example, if, if Nikunj or Anurag uh, or, or Maitri or Gautam, you know, any one of you are asked to come in front of the class or present something, there is always this fear of failure. And, and once you have that fear, right, uh, in most of us, we, we stop learning. We either ha become hesitant, you know, but there is, there is actually nothing to be, uh, you know, embarrassed or uh, hesitant because if you don't fail, you don't know what you're going to work on. You don't know what you're what you should improve. So I should suggest, you know, come forward, come up front, perform, and if you perform fine, there is nothing to worry about. But if you fail, you're welcome. You're more than welcome because failing is going is not just going to teach you what to improve, but it also it's also going to teach others what what is to be taken care of. So, आपका जो failure है वो आपको तो सिखाएगा, लेकिन दूसरों को भी सिखाएगा कि कौन सी चीजों का ध्यान रखना है. And that's that's what that's what uh, John Gardner is trying to say here. Uh, now, just, uh, just for a change, let me take you to some different place uh, in the slide. Wonderful picture, I think. Uh, now, I have a question before I introduce uh, the expert with this slide. And the question for you is, uh, because I don't see where exactly the this bridge, not not me bridge, but this bridge in, in front of you, that is B-R-I-D-G-E. <laughs> so I, I, I cannot see where it's, where it's going, uh, you know, in those trees. Can you think of where it's going? Yes, I, I want to see what you think in the chat box. What do you think? Where is it? Where is this bridge uh, going? Is there any end or, or anything? What do you think? Uh, up to the cliff. Okay. All right. That's a good, uh, good way to look at it. Heaven, all right. Always grow up. Okay, journey to life, to other side. Okay, Aryan, other side. That's that's a nice way to say it. To next level. Good, good. Branadin, good. I, I I remember Branadin from last semester, if I'm not wrong. Uh, my three new beginning. My three. Okay, a good reply. Any any other replies? Maybe uh, ten more seconds. Okay, uh, I think uh, that much is enough. Uh, well, you all are okay. One more, uh, bad to good time. Uh, all right, Kush, that's 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 really uh, 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 coming out of the box. Bad to good times, uh, something like we are uh, going through uh, these days, COVID nineteen and post COVID nineteen, and then lock one, lock two, lock three, and 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 we are moving towards good times. Uh, well, so. Whatever you have shared here has, uh, you know, validity in there, of course. Uh, but someone has said about this, and that someone is this gentleman here. Uh, this gentleman had lived a wonderful life of 100 and, 
two years. Uh, an American psychologist, uh, a cognitive uh, research a researcher. He had done many research uh, research on, on, on cognitive uh, development of, of, of the learners of, of human beings. Oh, yes, Anurag has described it very nicely. It explains as the path doesn't matter. What matters is just to go on the way to success. And he's, he's right. So this gentleman, uh, uh, his name is Jerome Bruner, a very famous personality in, in, in cognitive research and, and psychology, de psychological development of learners. And he said something. And this time, you don't have to guess a word, but this time you have to read what he has he had said. So let's read it. I'm going to give you 10 seconds precisely to read what he said. So there you go. I'm going to read with, with you. Learning should not only take us somewhere. It should allow us later to further more easily. And and that's where all of you, whatever you have said to the other side, journey to life, to the next level, a new beginning, all of you are right. Because learning, it doesn't only take us somewhere. It also makes the journey smoother. It, it makes us, you know, it makes us to go further more easily. So that's what Jerem Bruner is, is trying to, to say here. Now, uh, before we uh, move ahead uh, with the next idea, I now have uh, something to uh, you know, share with you, an exercise, which you are going to, again, uh, go on a link and, and look at the link there. And the link is going to ask you this question. And the question is, what is your learning strategy? Let's let's look at the question in the link itself. I'm, I'm sharing the link with you. And you can choose multiple options. You're allowed to. Let's see what link has to tell us. So there is a link there in the chat box. I've just put up the link. I've shared in the chat box. Let's open the link in the chat box and let's see uh, where it actually takes us. need to give in the entries there and I'm just going to look at your entries in a minute Once you complete your entries, please type done in the chat box so that I know how many of you have given the, uh, you know, reply to respond to that. All right. Uh, Aryan, uh, Hrindra, okay, Kuldeep, everyone, most of you. Uh, it will take some time to just open up this. Okay. It's here right in front of me. And uh, I don't see any entries so far. Oh, yes, I can see now. And I think you can also see that. Let's open up. It's open wide. Let's see what you have to say. So the question asks you, how do you choose to learn formal English? Uh, and look at the question. Read the question one more time. I'm not talking about uh, random uh, English. I'm not talking about informal language. I'm talking about formal English. And let's, let's see how do you choose to. So the first option was uh, uh, through formal classroom instructions, uh, uh, to which... Uh, you know, a few of you did agree to emailing. Okay, uh, a very less votes were given to emailing uh, from TV, music, or movies, and <laughs> I, I, I did expect maximum entries there. Uh, reading newspaper. I'm still always amazed when I uh, see uh, learners 
preferring to read newspapers in order to learn language and that's that's good that's actually always good uh, participating in formal events all right uh, okay and formal discussion so also that helps but most of you are saying from tv music or or movies and then i wonder uh, have you chosen your 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 form of you know tv or or music or uh, i don't know from music whether you are able to learn formal language but yeah there are few things from which you can learn formal uh, language maybe movies and maybe some news channels or or something like that uh, but that was uh, that was a good uh, good overview a good analysis good uh, response uh, thank you everyone thank you for your responses let me take you out and now let me take you to the slide yes so what whatever you have chosen uh, back there uh, you know was 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 about your strategies uh, and it, it told us about how you decide to learn the language aap jis tarah se decide karoge language learning karne ke liye usko hum strategy boling that's your strategy and the most important part uh, you know the most important thing that you need to take care in the strategy actually things and there are three things you need to understand ab phir chahe aap koi bhi option choose kar rahe ho apne jisme aapne jahan pe entry kiya usme se aap koi bhi option jo select kar rahe ho phir chahe wo movies ho phir chahe wo newspaper ho phir chahe wo you know reading books ho ya formal discussions ho you know anything we need to always understand three things process pathway and reaching goals abhi jaise ki maine describe kiya ki agar aap news tv ke bare mein bol rahe ho to aap कौन सा यू नो पाथ पे यूज कर रहे हो आर यू गोइंग टू यूज न्यूज चैनल आर यू गोइंग टू यूज यू नो सम गुड प्रोग्राम्स लाइक डिबेट्स ऑन ऑन न्यूज और और मे बी डिबेट्स ऑन मूवीज सो दैट्स योर पाथ वे आर यू फॉलोइंग दैट प्रोसेस आर यू फॉलोइंग दैट पाथ वे और क्या आपको लगता है कि वो आपको गोल गोल आपका जो गोल है आपका यू नो वट एवर योर गोल इज डू यू थिंक इट विल हेल्प यू टू रीच दैट गोल that destination like that bridge uh, that's going within the trees and take you to some destination so these three things you need to take care uh, before you choose your learning strategy well ye aapka view tha aur maine aapko bahut sare options nahi diye the there were only six to seven options but let's invite some experts who can tell us about the learning strategies all right So let's see are you excited to welcome the experts once again as Rosalind Yellow said excitement is the key element let's see yes is in the chat box there's only one yes i can see now i can see two gautam gautam written uh, gautam wrote why i mean is it a question or yes <laughs> all right so okay all right abrana then okay yeah gautam has now you know star marked it and saying yes all right so Uh, thank you for your responses and thank you for your excitement once again uh, let's invite the next personality uh, and this 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 these personalities are now going to talk to us about the learning strategy remember learning strategy uh, and you may know him uh, of course a famous personality in in united states uh, his his face is there in in one dollar bill i mean in dollar bills in uh, united states uh, currency and he's the founding fathers of actually united states he was the one who signed the declaration of independence benjamin franklin uh, some students uh, you know just because of the familiarity in the in, in faces and the looks the thing that it's William Shakespeare <laughs> but it, he's not and something that he's George Washington but he's not uh Benjamin Franklin he said something about learning strategy and and when i pop this up in front of you in this on the screen be very careful read it and take your time what do you think there are three dashes for you you can write one word comma one word and another word and look at the level see at every line he's talking about different level at the first level he just talked about telling something at the second level he is talking about teaching something 
And then the third level, he's talking about involvement of, of, of the learners. So let's look at what he said. Tell me and I dash, teach me and I may, and involve me and I what? Can you, can you guess? Can you guess? Any one of you? Any one of the words? All right. Anurag got it right there. Maybe taking help of some sources. Okay. Forgot, remember, and learn. Aryan says, listen, learn, and grow. Okay. Okay, Aryan. There is a different view I can see. Yes. Any other insights? Any other view? All right. I, I expected only a few. So that's okay. That's all right. Let's look at what he actually said. And the Swaran Rag goes right to the point. And he said this. He, he actually meant it. He, he meant it. And when he's saying this, uh, look at what he's saying. He's saying, teach me, uh, tell me. And uh, I, think I, I think my screen stopped. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's, it stopped. Let me, let me take you back to the screen sharing, sharing mod, mode. Okay. Give me a second. Okay, I think we are back. All right, and uh, there you go. All right, so this is what he actually meant. Look at the levels. He said, if you just tell people, you know, there is a possibility that they forget things. Now, if you teach people, you know, that's, that's, that's something that happened at school level or that's something that happened in most of the classrooms at, at schools. If you teach people, yeah, okay, they may remember, right? But the key is to involve, right? You, you need to get involved in learning. So you need to get involved in whatever strategy you are using. Now, just you have to you know, polls and analyze it. You have to say that you have ज्यादातर लोग मूवीज देखेंगे या फिर ज्यादातर लोग रीडिंग न्यूज़पेपर करेंगे यू नीड टू गेट इन्वॉल्व्ड इन व्हाटएवर यू आर डूइंग सो इन्वॉल्वमेंट इज गोइंग टू ब्रिंग आउट द बेस्ट ऑफ 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 द लर्निंग इन अस एंड दैट्स द की सो रिमेंबर वन थिंग ऑलवेज इन्वॉल्व योरसेल्फ्स इन व्हिचएवर एक्टिविटी वी आर डूइंग एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू सी ऑल योर इन्वॉल्वमेंट इवन इन दीस ऑनलाइन सेशन and your quick responses so good keep it up uh, let's invite the next uh, expert are you ready uh, i should see yes is if you are ready let's keep the excitement at height at high level okay only five yeses all right there are more yeses coming up okay okay stop stop no need to all right i can see yeses yeah the next expert uh, he has uh, written many, many good uh, uh, textbooks for uh, language teachers and, and for language learners. And, and uh, he, he is uh, an, he's an expert, a, a teacher's trainer. Uh, he works at uh, Cambridge University Press. And uh, his name is uh, Vivian Cook. And Vivian Cook said this. And look at this very carefully. This is actually the... This is actually something that you already done before, and you are just now looking at the keyword. A learning strategy refers to a dash that the learners, that the learner makes while learning or using a language. So, what do you think? What do you think the dash is? Can you think of that word? Okay, a learning strategy refers to a skill. That's a great start. Gotham habit technique. Good, nice, good start. Three, three responses out of 32 that's that's not good come on involve excitement respond what do you think you're not marked as right or wrong here so you're not supposed to be worried about that i think process good good Aryan. process that's nice what do you think yes what do you think what can you think of what other words can you think of can you think of anything else 
Okay, language. Okay, refers to a language that learners makes. Okay, all right. Okay, fine. I mean, that's 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 more of which I what I expected. Process. Okay, okay. Excitement. <laughs> okay, Hirendra, uh, excitement because that's one word that's coming out of my mouth again and again. But he meant actually nothing. Choice. जो आपने already किया, आपने choose किया कि आप कौन सा strategy इस्तेमाल करने वाले हो. The learning strategy refers to a choice. वो आपके choice पे निर्भर करता है, वो आपके choice पे depend करता है. See, it depends on your choice. So, you you choose wisely, right? Whatever you choose to to make learning happen, you choose wisely, okay? Uh, and you choose with the help of guide and and in our case i'm the one who is going to definitely guide you every step everywhere in terms of learning all the times even after my teaching hours you can you can contact me uh, in the evening in the afternoon any time and i'll be there to guide you let's invite our next personality and uh, he is a very very important gentleman and he's a backbone of communicative english he's the one who has done most of the research work and studies in terms of communicative english uh aaj communicative english mein jo kuch bhi teachers padhate hain jo kuch bhi uh, alag alag departments padhate hain communication ke bare mein all of it is 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 based on his theory of communication and teaching communication skills and he said something uh, well uska naam bata do uska naam jack richards hai uh, he works for the uh, uh, university of uh, cambridge university press or yahan pe maine just for fun maine kya kiya hai uske statement ko maine aada teda kar diya hai i have i have put words here and there this is not the right statement they are all jumbled words you are supposed to unjumble it आपको उसमें अनजंबल करके इन सभी वर्ड्स को ठीक करके यू नीड टू गिव मी व्हाट यू थिंक इज द राइट सेंटेंस सो लर्नर्स लर्निंग अचीव टू सक्सेसफुल डू व्हाट और इसमें थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा सो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू वन मिनट यू सपोज टू मेक इट अ राइट स्टेटमेंट अ राइट सेंटेंस अ करेक्ट सेंटेंस लेट सी वॉट यू हैव टू से वन मिनट यू हैव टाइम यू कैन थिंक ऑफ इट and this is something what others already have said before vivian cook has said the same so what do you think i'm waiting for your response and the responses in the chat box bit difficult but you can try okay there is a first try general to achieve learning what successful learners do a blind guess of course it's a blind guess general everybody is doing a blind guess so don't need to worry about that that's one that's just one response where are the others and there is the other one what do successful learners achieve learning okay subham subham really good uh, guess a really good guess what learners do to achieve successful learning gautam dhruv patel to achieve successful learning learners do what gautam you are you are good you you did good what do learners achieve to successful learning all right okay fine i mean these are enough replies which i expected uh, okay uh, one more akshata uh, what do learners what do successful learners learning to achieve what learners do to achieve successful learning and i think yesh and uh, gautam got it right and look at look at the meaningful sentence now what learners do to achieve successful learning and and okay abranadin kuldeep yes i i can see your replies and and this is what jack richards uh, meant jack richards was trying to say whatever you do whatever you choose whatever you 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 choose to do is going to lead you to successful learning lekin aap choose sambhal ke karna right aapko jo aapko jo select karna hai wo sambhal ke karna hai aise hi you cannot select anything and you go ahead 
and that's what Jack Richards trying to say. And now you have something in the min Mentimeter one more time. Uh, I'm link page or there is a question aa gaya hai, and this question is going to ask you something horrible. So there is a link I'm sharing now and there is a link you can see. Let me take you to that link and once you enter and give your replies, please type yes or done. Sorry, not yes, but done. And this question, this, this link is going to ask you an amazing question. And the question is, let's look at the question. I mean, let's look at the link itself. It's taking some time to open up, though two of you have done. My three, I can see you have done. Janel, you have done. Gautam, Aryan, Hirendra. Wow, wow, good, good. I can see a lot of you have done already. And from my end, it's taking time. Uh, it's okay. Let me see. Let's see how much time it takes. Okay, there you go. I'm going to put it in the presentation mode. Okay. And this is what your replies are. I think most of you have done it already. Let's see. Uh, according to you, which is the most important category that helps you learn better formal English? Just give me a second. Oh, that was just my bad health, nothing else. Uh, okay. Yeah, so listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Ten of you, I mean, less words to, uh, okay, it's it's like a stairs uh, in descending order from listening. So listening got, got more of the uh, replies. And... And this is good. This is actually good. Because this is actually the natural way of learning a language. This is your natural way. Hai. This is how you have learned your mother tongue. Aapka mother tongue aapne kaise sikha hai? You have started listening to people first. You have then started speaking. Mother tongue mein speaking pehle kabhi nahi aata hai. Right? Aur grammar wagera to kuch bhi nahi aata hai. Right? Then you started reading, then you started writing, then you go in the school, which you do very less. But that's language learning. Hame dekhna hoga language acquisition ke saam. Sorry, that's language acquisition. Hame dekhna hoga language learning ke saam. Ye jo process hai, the acquisition process hai. Learning ka process thora badal gaya, kyunki usme seekhna hai. Now you need to, to look at the technical aspects. Now you need to look at the grammatical aspects abhi aapko sab cheezon ke samne dekhna padega kyunki aap apna mother tongue ke bare mein baat nahi kar rahe hain you are talking about uh, you know you are talking about english you are talking about second language isme bahut sari cheeze zaruri hai uh, jaise ki pronunciation jaise ki morphology now morphology means uh, vocabulary jaise ki syntax syntax means grammar jaise ki uh, pragmatics and semantics this means how what you write and what you speak makes connection. The baat sari technical cheese aapko seekhni hai abhi. Right. And that's what I'm going to teach you. But these technical things which I'll teach you are going to be the things which you don't know, not the things which you know already. Or in kebara mein baad mein baad karenge, or jab baad karenge, tab aapko pata chalega what I'm talking about. So, now let's Let's now look at the future possibility and future scope of, of this course. Abhi, inka, is course ka jo future scope hai, is to allow you to take the Cambridge English Business Certificate. This ko back kehte hai. This is an international certificate exam. Lekin ye unhi ke liye hai, jo students is exam ko decide karenge that they are willing to take up this certificate exam. So it's only for those students who are actually willing to come forward and take this exam. Unko me Saturday ya Friday ko bulaunga in extra sessions for one hour and they will sit with me and then they will prepare themselves for the Cambridge English Cambridge Business English certificate. Uh, let's let's start to understand what is this Cambridge Business English certificate. Uh, the Cambridge Business Qualification proves the ability to communicate with confidence in English at the workplace. Uh, Cambridge Business English Qualifications are available at three levels. You can see three levels in the picture. 
uh, the level is B1 preliminary, vantage, and higher. I'll talk about these three levels in a little bit more detail a little later. Uh, this certificate qualification is an in-depth assessment testing all four language skills. They are LSRW, that's listening, reading, writing, and speaking, as well as gr grammar and vocabulary. In speaking test, there is a face-to-face -face speaking test, which gives more realistic communicative practice of how will you be talking in English at workplace. Uh, let's, let's now uh, talk about how Cambridge English, uh, Business English and CEFR is connected, but let's first understand what is CEFR in a very quick uh, way. Now, we must understand that the learners have language learning ability different level and their level is different. No one can level of It's not possible. But opinion about your level of English can be subjective. Har ek alag -alag opinion hota hai. For example, my opinion for Maitri is that she is good in English. But, but you know, the opinion of employer about Maitri is that she is not good in English. So, what do we need? We need a clear way to describe the language level skills. And what do we need? CEFR. So what is CEFR? CEFR is a common European framework of reference. Now, this common European framework of reference breaks down language learning into six levels, which are there in front of you. Uh, A1 and A2, which describes the basic level of, you know, uh, language uh, efficiency. B1 and B2, which describes the independent level of language efficiency. So, if you have B1 B2 certificate, then you are independent language users. Or if you have C1 or C2 certificate, then you are the proficient user of language. And these are the different courses which Cambridge offers at different level. And we are looking at these courses, uh, which is one, two, three, and fourth graph. In, in, the, in the graph, there is a fourth chart, the fourth ladder. That's BEC preliminary, BEC vantage, and BEC higher. So ye teen level hai. Now we are focused on the preliminary and vantage level. So I'm, I'm focused on my learners at vantage and preliminary level. My MBA students are taking the Vantage examinations, uh, most probably in the month of uh, September or November. And my other engineering students are taking the preliminary exam, again, most probably in the month of uh, September or November. And these are the students who have selected this examination. Uh, this examination is uh, divided into four parts. Uh, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Every level, me, a different level pe examination liya jata hai. But I'll explain about this, uh, you know, maybe sometime later when we are ready to take this course. For that, you should know the value of these courses. The value is is right there in front of you. Uh, it's it's right there. It it makes your recruitment easier. Abka recruitment easy ho jayega once you have the back certificate. It also enhances your CV. CV, you know, enhance It makes you stand out of the crowd when you hold the back certificate among all the different candidates. So you are actually given first priority in terms of uh, uh, English and then also terms of business English. Uh, employer jo hai, wo aapko confident employee ke taw pe dekhega because you are holding the Cambridge Business Certificate of of uh, MEC. Uh, this exam delivers the trustworthy results and the most important factor is these certificates are valid for lifetime they are not like ilts that you need to appear every one year or every two years they are not like that so they are valid for for the lifetime this is uh, this is how a cambridge uh, business english certificate uh, uh, looks like that's how it looks like uh, so you can see you can see the name of students, you can see the grade, you can see the overall scores in reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Har ek student ko certificate ke saath saath uh, result, a statement of results bhi milta hai, jis mein pura dikhaya gaya hai ki, where is that student in, in this CFR level, B1 pe hai, ya B2 pe hai, ya C1 pe hai, detail uh, diya hai, kaisa perform kiya hai, and everything. So it talks about your results in detail. And that's the end of this session. We have finally completed our first introductory session. But before we end it, one final, final 
फाइनल सेइंग फ्रॉम माय ओल्ड फ्रेंड फ्रेंड प्लेटो और इसके पीछे कहानी है 2014 में मैं जब दुबई था तो देयर वाज आई वाज इन वन ऑफ द स्कूल्स इन दुबई एंड इन आई वाज इन टीचर्स ट्रेनिंग एक्चुअली और वहां पे मैंने एक नोटिस बोर्ड पे प्लेटो प्लेटो ने जो कहा था उसको मैंने ग्रीक लैंग्वेज में देखा एंड इट वाज रिटन इन समथिंग लाइक दिस bello e il rischio della scoperta and i don't expect anyone to know this language a medieval italian language like in iska meaning ye hota hai because i asked the meaning to one of the teachers and i was excited to know the meaning and the meaning is this there is a hidden beauty in the risk of discovery or aapko risk lena hoga to discover new things at every session in our course module whether you are learning grammar or you are learning anything you need to be ready to discover new things because that's what you are going to do throughout this module so are you ready to discover new things i should see yeses in the chat box are you ready because we are going to discover new things every session all right okay i can see the excitement there in the uh, in the chat box So finally let's say thank you to all our experts we have invited them and we should thank all of them because they have been a great help they have shared a great knowledge to us and and I think uh that's that's it uh, you should now start uh writing your uh, uh I think you should now start writing your enrollment numbers in the chat boxes so that I can see your uh you know attendance so yeah one by one and once you write down your enrollment numbers you can leave the meeting thank you so much for being with me thank you so much uh, uh thank you for listening to me this was one of the smoothest session today aaj ka session kafi smooth raha it was good it was amazing uh you uh, all right have hello hello sir hello yes yes who is this sir my chat yes. box is uh, yes. fail to send tab to recent dealer uh yes current what is it sir send nahi tha tha message chat box okay current you are not able to send the message that's what you are saying okay all right then current do one thing uh you can send me your enrollment number in the uh, in my whatsapp in my personal whatsapp that's okay oh, you can okay sir okay thank you all right yes all of you who are not able to send the messages in the ch- in, in in the chat box you can leave a message a- in my uh whatsapp number uh, personally to me thank you so much everyone thank you so much uh, that was uh, a pleasure uh, seeing all of you uh here today thank you so much everyone